your GPA is a little questionable, maybe your MCAT's a little borderline, a little fringe, maybe you applied to MD programs last year, you didn't get in, but you feel like you're competitive either at BO or at Caribbean schools. Hi guys, Dr. Andre Pineset, and today I'm answering one of your questions, and the question is, should I do a DO program or a Caribbean school? Whoa. And a lot of you guys are making this kind of decision, right? Maybe your GPA is a little questionable, maybe your MCAT's a little borderline, a little fringe, maybe you applied to MD programs last year, you didn't get in, but you feel like you're competitive either at DO or at Caribbean schools, which is the better route? And what I'll say is, is if, you, if, if I were a student to apply, and I got into both DO schools and Caribbean schools. So if you've already applied to medical schools, MD schools didn't get in, I would apply to both DO and Caribbean. Why not? Right? It's a couple extra dollars to have some options. And then when you get those options, now you, you're into a DO school and you're into a Caribbean school, if you're able to get into a DO school, nine times out of 10, I would say go to the DO school. Why? Because it's on US soil. US residencies look at those students entirely different than graduates of Caribbean schools. And it's just the, the honest truth of it. Okay, so if you went to a DO school, it's a perfectly valid route to go to a residency, even though it may be a little bit more difficult, it's still closer to an MD school than a Caribbean school. So that's why I would say DO over Caribbean nine out of 10 times. The only time I would say Caribbean, and actually I'm trying to think if there would ever be a time I would say Caribbean, is if for some reason you don't get down with the DO philosophy, which is a little bit different than traditional uh, Western medicine. If you don't agree with the DO philosophy and that would interest you, then maybe go to the Caribbean. But understand that the Caribbean has a lot more hoops for you to jump through, and if there's a lot more stigma associated with it that may hinder your career. And that's what I would say is the big difference. And I have a lot of videos about Caribbean schools and about DO schools kind of going into depth and what that is and what those are, but I just wanted to quickly put a word together because people ask me this all the time and a student said it recently. DO versus Caribbean, I would say DO nine out of 10 times. All right guys, I'm Dr. Andre Pineset. Uh, make sure you like this video, Comment in the box below. Let me know what you think with DO versus Caribbean. Maybe you have an opinion um, about this topic. It seems to be a very hot topic. So let me know what you think. And then uh, subscribe to the channel. Turn on live notifications. I'm on here live all the time. And I will see you guys next time. That is it for this episode of Dominate Pre-Med. Show me some love by commenting in the box below and taking a second to like this video. Be sure to visit premedproductivity.com to learn more about my empowering courses, pre-med coaching, and live events near you. While you're there, grab a copy of my free ebook, check out my blog, and sign up for a free webinar. Being a pre-med doesn't have to be filled with uncertainty and stress. You have greatness inside you. Let the pre-med productivity expert show you how to unlock it so you can dominate pre-med and get into the medical school of your dreams. I'll see you next time.